Hey guys, I'm Monet. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. So I know I haven't made a video in a little bit. I was going so good when I first started and then I kind of just cut out a little bit. I've had a lot going on as far as big news. I did get engaged, super cool. Don't look at my nails. As we know in past videos, I'm not a nail person. But the ring's pretty. I've been engaged and been kind of nonstop since then with engagement party. Um, kind of just trying to set a date so that way I at least knew how much time I would have. So we do have a date set finally. Um, it's gonna be June next year, so I do have some time. Or at least I think I do, so we'll see. Along with that, I also have been sick. As you can probably tell my voice, it's a little bit still iffy. I've been sick for, I swear, like two weeks now. So yeah, enough with excuses. Um, let's just film this thing. I'm thinking today with warmer weather, I'm inspired by um, my dewy kind of foundation routine that I like to do to kind of have like just makeup that looks dewy and fresh faced and all that jazz. If you want to see how I get that look then just keep watching. Okay so obviously I am fresh faced right now. I don't have anything on my skin yet. The only thing I have done is my brows and I really did minimal on that. All I have is just a brow gel. We're just going to kind of jump into it. So something super important when I am trying to have dewy fresh face look is always in prep. So before you do your foundation, all that good stuff, I'm on the drier side, so I definitely want to be nice and hydrated. So I'm going to start off with some moisturizer for sure. So I'm going to do the Tarte Drink of H2O Gel Moisturizer, what I usually use. It's just a nice hydrating moisturizer, also goes great under makeup gel so it's not super heavy on the skin. So I'm going to let that soak in a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with an oil. This is a nice luminous oil. You can kind of see just nice little radiant drops just taking a little bit, about half a dropper full, and pressing into the skin. This just gives the slightest bit of luminosity. It's nothing like over the top. So after letting that soak in, this is just another step that I like to do. You don't have to do this. It's just, I really like that dewy, illuminated look. So I'm just going to take these Cover FX drops. They're in the shade Moonlight. This is just the mini version. But I'm gonna take some of this and just apply it to the higher points of my face that I would normally apply highlight. And this is just underneath my foundation. glowing on those top areas just under the foundation and hopefully this will just shine through a little bit and then for foundation I'm just gonna use a luminous foundation um, I'm gonna even amp it up a little bit and mix an illuminating primer with it if you don't have an illuminating foundation you can definitely just mix in the illuminating primer with it to give a little bit of do I however I'm gonna take an illuminating foundation and primer and just really go for it because your girls extra so the foundation I'm going to use today is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. This is definitely a lighter weight foundation, um, really light on the skin, which I love for summer. I don't like heavy foundation in the summer. Um, so it's just super lightweight, not a lot of coverage, but I find with illuminating foundations that the way the light reflects, you don't need as much coverage because it kind of like it reflects off your imperfections. So that's kind of a little added bonus. So another key little thing I like to do with an illuminating look is keep my beauty blender wet. So I'm gonna continuously spray on, I'm gonna use the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Spray. And you'll see me spray this on a few times throughout. Even this foundation and the primer or liquid illuminator. I'm gonna mix just a little bit on the back of my hand. Mix it in there with my beauty blender. Ooh, do you see the do? Do you see the do? So like I said, not a ton of coverage. 
can still definitely see my skin through it all, but like I said, it kind of just reflects really pretty in the light. You can totally still see my little freckles, all that good stuff, but I don't know, I just think it's super pretty. Great summer, it's lightweight, it feels super lightweight. So because this isn't a lot of coverage, I am gonna take a fuller coverage concealer. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Elimination. This is gonna give me more coverage for those areas I want more coverage, such as my under eye. A little bit goes a long way. I wish this was a shade lighter, but too late now. I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go back with a little bit of this foundation just because I feel like the concealer is a little too dark. I'm gonna even it back out with that lighter foundation shade. Ooh, we are shining. I would say if you're an oilier skin type, this probably isn't the most ideal foundation routine for you. But if you're drier like me and want that healthy glow, I like it. So since that was a heavier concealer, I am just gonna go and set my under eye. Some setting powder, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Bye Bye Pores, sorry. We're gonna do the rest of our liquids and creams. So for days I like that fresh face look, I really like to use cream um, blush. So I'm gonna go in with this Stila Convertible Color Lip and Cheek. In Magnolia, it is a cream, nice pretty mop. Gonna dip my beauty blender in just a little bit. And just press that on the cheeks. And this will just give me a nice natural glow of color without it looking powdery. Use the like, get a little bit down on my beauty blender. And just hit the top of those cheekbones for that final little highlight. I am gonna set that highlight in with a powder highlighter. And then I'm gonna set that highlighter in with my Anastasia and Rizzi highlighter. I like using my Beauty Blender once again. Set where to put that liquid highlighter. That's this highlighter bomb. It's really, really pretty. And then I'm just going to very lightly dust over where I put like the cream, blush, all that other stuff with my Beauty Wonder. Set that in. Just barely. And voila. We're glowing. Okay, now I'm just gonna pause. I'm gonna throw on just a nice pretty like sheen on the eyes. Um, more like a highlight shade and throw some mascara on and a lip and I will be right back. Okay, so I just added on some mascara and some shine on the eye and some lip gloss just to tie everything together. And the last thing I'm going to do is just set all my makeup with the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Eliminating, Eliminating Fix Spray. This stuff smells so good. So this is my finished dewy, fresh face summer makeup look. All those things. Um, if you're on the drier side, definitely try it out. It feels super lightweight, it's great for summer. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know. Um, also, quick question, I don't have an illuminating powder to like set with that I love. I really wanna try the Milani one. Has anybody tried that? Otherwise, if you tried one that you like, let me know in the comments, and I will see you next time. Thanks.